Hello learners, hope you all are doing well. So I would like to start by saying that the question numbers in this PDF and the question numbers on the portal are not the same. So again you could refer to the question numbers from the ones given in the title. So let's continue with this. Consider a graph generated from the scores table uh, that is represented by a matrix B. Each node in the graph corresponds to a student from the table. Sequence number is used to label the nodes at the graph. So in the pseudocode we see that in the first line we initialize an empty dictionary to the variable A and we see that while table 1 has more rows we read the first row X in table 1 and we assign a key that is the sequence number and to it we say that there is a value which is a list and it contains two elements that is the city or town from which this student of this particular sequence number is from and the gender of this particular student and then we move this x to table number two now we see that you initialize a variable n and it has the value which is the length of the keys of a which means it sees the number of keys that are there in A. And then we also have an, a zero matrix that is created using this command called create matrix of n by n, which means it has n number of rows and n number of columns. Now we see that for each i in the keys of A and also for each j in the keys of A because we know that uh, the keys of A and the keys of J are basically N that is the number of rows and columns so we are basically iterating through the rows and columns of this particular matrix now we see this if statement it says that if I is not equal to J and here there is a helper function that states that is related A of I comma A of J then we update this value of B of I J to 1 so let's see what is this helper function called is related doing. So it takes two arguments x and y. Now let's see what are they. We said if the first x and the first y and the last x and last y are both equal to each other which means that the first x is equal to the first y and the last x is equal to the last y then we return true otherwise we return false. So what is this x and y? x and y what is what we are taking here is a list and we see that the first element of x should be equal to the first element of y and here what have we taken a of i to be? It is this particular city and town or uh, pardon me city or town and the gender of this student it should be equal to the gender and the city and town of student j. So it basically iterates through this dictionary which has become the sequence number say 1 and the um, city maybe it is Chennai and she is a female and we say maybe at row number 3 there is somebody from Vello who is say a male. So we are basically checking if these two elements are equal. If they are not equal we just go back to this for each loop if they are equal then we enter this if statement and update the value of b of i and j as 1 so the logic here is we are checking if the city town and the gender of two students are equal only then do we in this matrix update the value to 1 say this is 0 0 1 2 3 4 one two three four so this is a four by four matrix and we have all values automatically given as zero and what we are going to do here is we are going to go through this dictionary that we have created here that is a and then we check if two students have the same city from which they are and the same gender then we update the value at that particular position in this matrix 
to be say one say student number one and student number two both have the same cities and they are of the same gender then we update the particular row that is one and two we update this particular element to one so let's go to the options and see which is correct so there are two questions under here the first one states that there is an edge between students i and j with i not equal to j if and only if so there is an edge between students i and j only if i as i said before that they have the same city and the same gender which we can see here corresponds to option number 3 and now in the second part of the question we see that which of the following statements are true about this graph and it's also a multiple select question we see that there are two cliques uh, in this graph one for each gender so that's not necessarily true because we have seen that if they have to be of the same gender and they have to be of the same city or town so just one being true does not mean that they form a clique so as we know that for clique all these um, arguments should be satisfied so here one argument is not satisfied which means that this is not the answer in the second one it states that in every clique there is at least a pair of students having different genders again this is not true because we know that for the clique to be formed all uh, of the given say arguments have to be satisfied if not then they do not form a clique so this is also not an answer the third option states that all students in a given clique have the same gender this option is correct because for a clique to be formed all have to have the same um, same gender and same city or town so this third option is correct and now the fourth option is all students in a given clique are from the same city town yes this is also correct and the fourth uh, pardon me the fifth option is there are no cliques in this graph uh, which is wrong because we have just now proven that there are two cliques uh, pardon me there is a clique and in that clique all students with the same gender and who are from the same city or town are part of this clique so option number 3 and 4 are correct for this part of the question and in the first part option number 3 is the correct answer thank you learners